What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for about eight weeks now, but didn't feel comfortable about it until I got my results back. So that is the American Board of Radiology Core Examination, which I hope you guys can see that. If you see that little green area right there, that means I passed the exam and now I feel like I can finally talk about it because a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. So let's get into the intricacies of the examination. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Let's go. So first and foremost, let's get into how long I actually studied. So I started studying at probably loosely at the beginning of my third year. So July of my third year, very loosely. When I say loosely, I mean like I would peruse a page or chapter in my textbook here and there, but not really, you know, study, hardcore studying. So in January of this year is when I really started to hunker down and study. I would probably study about you know, three hours after work here and there. And on the weekends, I would wake up and study for a good six hours or so. So these are all of the resources that I actually use to study. This is my notebook, which I took notes on. This is Crack the Core Volume 1. You can see how much information is in that bad boy. This is Crack the Core Volume 2. You see all that stuff. And finally, like I've told you guys before in my other videos, we have a little special something on our board examination called physics. Most people hate this subject. I didn't like it because you kind of have to teach yourself this entire book, so that can be kind of daunting. But I ended up scoring really well in physics. Um, it wasn't too difficult. It's just, I mean, some of the concepts can be very hard to grasp. So you have to do some hardcore studying to learn this bad boy. On top of that, I used uh, two question banks. Or oh, wait, three? I think two. No, three question banks. I used Rad Primer question bank. I used Kevlar with a Q question bank. And the best, best, best question bank that I used was Board Vitals. Far and away, this is the best Q bank out there for our board examination. I just think their resource is amazing when it comes to our board examination. The questions were dead on, straight to the point, very educational, awesome images, perfect. Great Q-Bank, so good job board idols. So our board examination is two days in a row. You have the option of taking it in Chicago or Tucson, Arizona, and it is seven or eight hours the first day, followed by six to seven hours the next day. So the American Board of Radiology is very serious about their board examination. And what I mean by that is, for one, we had to stay at a certain hotel. And in the morning of the examination, we would go downstairs with a little clear Ziploc bag full of snacks and a drink or so. And we would line up into a room and then they would bus groups of people, like 20 people deep into vans or buses and bring them to the testing facility. Then once we got to the testing facility, we had a picture taken, logged into our, to make sure it was us who was taking the examination, put our stuff in the locker, and then we took the exam for seven hours or whatever it was. After the examination, we had to wait for the bus to take us back to the hotel, and then we could actually have access to our phone and all that stuff. But it was like maximum security on the day of the examination. So like I said, it is two days long and you're pretty tired after each day and all you wanna do is basically go home and sleep, but then you can't really sleep because you're worrying about the next day's stuff and you're going over all the answers in your head about how many things you missed on the current day's exam and all this stuff. So the whole situation is very anxiety provoking and not fun. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. Get your first audiobook for free plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash Dr. Cellini or text Dr. Cellini to 500, 500. 
Like most hardworking physicians, our time is spent mostly inside the hospital or clinic with little time to do things we love. That's where Audible comes into play. Audible allows you to listen to audiobooks anytime and any place. I personally enjoy listening to audiobooks while drinking coffee in the morning and during my commute into work. Currently, I'm listening to the Checklist Manifesto audiobook, and if you are in a surgical or procedural field like I am, you should definitely listen to this one as well. When you sign up with Audible, you get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible Originals, which are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater, journalism, literature, and more. The best part about Audible is that there is a great listen guarantee. If you don't like the audiobook you chose, just swap it. Visit audible.com slash Dr. Cellini, that's D-R-C-E-L-L-I-N-I, or text Dr. Cellini to 500-500. That's right, visit audible.com slash Dr. Cellini, or text Dr. Cellini to 500-500. Now, let's get back to the video. So what did I think of the examination? I thought it was decently fair. I think a lot of these standardized tests are all the same. You know, I mean, you study your butt off and you do as best you can and you learn all this information. And I mean, there's three full books of information plus everything that's not covered in these books, like all of medicine. So it's kind of tough to know everything, but you do your best and you can make educated guesses on certain questions. And I think it helps if you're an actual good test taker. What most people always say is about a third of the questions you'll know straight off the bat. And some of them are super easy. And then a lot of them are middle of the road questions where you can pretty much narrow it down into one or two answer choices and guess appropriately or have an educated guess on the right answer. And the other third of the exam is just like off the wall, crazy stuff you've never heard of and don't even know where you would see that or look for it to study. So the good thing about the examination is it's pass fail. So it doesn't really matter how high you score. Obviously you wanna score as high as you can, but as long as you pass, that's all that matters. So that is that. I am so happy to know that I passed my board examination. That is like so much weight off my shoulders. I can't even begin to describe it. So if you have any questions about radiology or our board exam or interventional radiology, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next video.